So what I was really struck by is how M Education is looking to the things we are. How do we bring people together in a way that can make a difference? We want to reach every student. You know, why we think particularly about students in America, what benefits students in America benefits students wherever they might be. So we're about how do we involve students in NASA's mission. And so NASA does some things that people haven't necessarily thought of. And so if a student would come along and say, hey, seeing that picture of a distant galaxy or seeing an astronaut floating on board the International Space Station or wow, a Canadian is going to fly on board the Artemis II, if that gets them to stop and think, I wonder if I could be part of that, that's, that's a success for us. That's a great day. That is such a great question, and I think the way that we stay on top of NASA content is that our Office of STEM Engagement has connections with all the different mission technical organizations. So, so I'm, I'm not in charge of the Space Telescope, and I'm not in charge of Artemis, but those folks share my same passion for reaching students, and so the best partnerships are the ones where we each kind of know where our expertise is, and if we can help them find minority-serving institutions or middle school kids, and they can be in charge of the technical work and figuring out how do, we, how do we share that information back and forth. Those are great days for both of us. As we were getting ready for Artemis, launching the first Artemis One mission, you know, it, it takes a while. There's, we have a launch date and then something happens and we have to slip it out. And we created something called the Artemis Learning Pathways. And it was eight weeks of less materials aimed at educators. And we started, I think we had around three or 4,000 educators. When we finished, about 25,000 educators. And the goal was to send them an email every week with, hey, we're getting ready for launch. Hey, we're launching next week. And then we'd have to start over again because the launch changed. Mm -hmm. And then we said, okay, we launched. And then, okay, now, now Artemis is X number of miles away from the, the Earth. And okay, and week two, it's, it's down the far side of the moon. And so to be able to figure out a way, I think that's where the creative energy came, is what cool stuff are we doing and how do we bring educators along on that ride? Um, I think another example of where we partnered is the whole work with Microsoft and the partnership we have with them on Minecraft and how the Artemis worlds within Minecraft. You know, Minecraft is something that most kids in America, whether they like it, whether it's their favorite game or not, they know what it is. And so many of them have a way to be able to have the hands-on feel to what's what what's I think is a great part of Minecraft. So for Minecraft and Microsoft to come alongside, talk to our NASA engineers and scientists figure out what we're doing, hear their stories, uh, to be able to then put students into the midst of that with the expertise that Microsoft has, has been a great partnership for both sides. Really yes. So, so two years ago we launched uh, our first graphic novel, uh, The First Woman, and the idea is to be able to bring students along for the story of what might it be like, and Callie is a, is a Hispanic, African American, girl who's learning what it's like to live in space and so for us to be able to connect students in a way that maybe a graphic novel may reach a student that wouldn't have uh, watched something else is a way for us to, to connect with people in a, hopefully a, a new and different way.